Which way is it right now? It's 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 up and down. We need it sideways. There we go. All oh, right. Man. Look okay. at that lion's mane. Jared, look at that lion's mane head of hair. What do, you got? what do you got rocking? You got what you got any cab? What do you got under there? Let's see it. Oh, uh, not him. Uh, he's got you got the curls though. Boy band hair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. has got the boy band hair, but he's a killer. I like having two killers on. Okay, so both of you guys won at who's number one? Swiderski, they're calling yours the upset of the year. Did you know that? Yeah, I seen, I seen, yeah. You don't think it was the upset of the year, though, do you? No, no, honestly, I don't. <laughs> I thought you were going to win all along, right? Yeah, for sure. That was the plan the whole time. And uh, obviously, I'm not going to sit here and say it was an upset. No, there's two people that know it wasn't an upset, me and him. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hey, Dylan, going into that event, was there any doubt in your mind that you weren't going to win? No, I just pretty much focus on myself and wrestle my matches pretty much and not really worry about anything else except just how I wrestle. What was your favorite part about that? Because that's a real individualized thing. The who's number one, they fly yeah. you and a coach down, right? Yeah, they uh, they only flew me down. They you flew, know, so your coach and parents and everybody else had to pay their own way to go to Dallas, right? Yeah, pretty much. What is it like? Because it's not you're not traveling in a team. What did you did you did you like that or was it weird? I mean, it was pretty cool, but it was also like it was kind of weird in a way because never wrestled an event like that. Uh, I don't know. It was it was it wasn't even like a duel either. It was just like a totally different like experience, but it, it was definitely pretty cool. Nice. Casey, what'd you think? Did you like, who, who did you coach, uh, who came down with you, Coach Roberts? Scotty B, uh, man. Um, Scotty Burnett came down. He was one, he was in my corner. Um, Simmons was there, my dad. Roberts did come down by himself. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah two was, guys. Yeah, two guys. Two guys who won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Dundee, Michigan's not playing. Aurora's like that. Aurora's got like, you guys aren't that big, and you got a bunch of national, a couple of nationally ranked guys, right, Dylan? Yeah, we have. Three nationally ranked guys right now. How many for Dundee, Casey? I know we know two number one guys. How many other guys? You know what? That's it, man. Just you, is it you two guys? But we got a lot of guys right on the cusp. Um, we, we I mean, we had eight state champs last year, so. You guys had eight but, state champs? Oh. Yeah, we had eight state champs last year, and Buell. <laughs> That's was over half the weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Oh my God. I did not I mean, know that. Last year we had more nationally ranked guys. We had Stoney and uh, I think just Stoney was nationally ranked and me, Braden, obviously, but I think there's more. I can't even remember right now, honestly. I love it. I yeah, love we had, you know, we you had guys are both Burnett guys, though, right? Both of you guys go to Burnett stuff, don't you? Yeah, I, I, I go to camps in the summer. Camps in the summer. And then Casey, you've been going ever since you were a little guy, right? Yeah, I've been going forever. I love it. Dylan, you came when you came from oh, Jesus, Illinois or where did you guys did you go California, Illinois, then Ohio? Is that what it was? Yeah. yeah. I remember when you guys came right from Illinois, you were probably like a sixth or seventh grader, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember you being there as like a middle schooler. Yeah. It's so crazy. I mean, I feel so old right now thinking about this. Yeah. Casey ran through a plate glass, ran through Scotty's plate glass window, which we'll talk about when you're off, but Dylan, do you have anything else for us before we get into talking to Casey? Uh, no, I mean, I don't know. I, I would say, like you said, Casey uh, is the biggest upset, but I, I was telling people Casey was going to win that whole week. I didn't think it was that much of an upset. And So three people, Casey, three people knew. Three people, yeah. Three people. I know your old man knew too. Dylan, yeah. thank you for the time. We will see you. Uh, I'll probably be seeing you during training camps and every st stuff coming up here in the next couple of weeks. All right. Yep. Thank you for having me. Yep. Thanks for the time, Dylan. See you, Dylan. Oh, we got the juggernaut. The ju you know that's your nickname. Scotty's always called you the juggernaut, right? Yep. Yep. So, so we're just gonna lead off with with a little. We're gonna get this kicked off with Casey Swiderski. <laughs> biggest upset of the year is what most people are saying. Well, Flow Wrestling said it, but. Um, it's actually the video is tagged as the upset of the year. You knocked off uh, number one pound for pound wrestler in the country, right? Yep. Mendez, right? Yep. Uh, is he from Crown Point? 
Yeah, Crown Point, Indiana. Crown Point, Indiana. And um, I saw Older Zertzis as his coach, right? Yep. Alex. Alex is his coach. Yep. So um, Jesse Mendez, number one pound for pound wrestler in the in the United States of America in a wild, a great match, by the way. And, and it's indicative of your style, man. Explosive goer. But let's let's rewind back to how long ago was it that you ran through the plate glass window? You were like 10 years old. You know, I think I was actually, uh, I was like thir- 13, I don't know, 12 or 13. I don't even remember. I, think my, I, remember I was like 80 pounds and like 85 pounds. And I was staying at Scotty's like all the time. I was always with Scotty, you know, and we always played basketball. And it was like the winter time almost. It was, it was pretty cold. So I'm putting on, I, I remember exactly what I had. I had gray sweatpants on and a Ohio State hoodie. And, uh, I put on my shoes to, and in his old house, it was just like kind of the front door and then the back door, you could see it and you could like run, you could like, you know, run right through it. And uh, so I like go from the front door and like I start running to go out the back door as a glass sliding door and it looked wide open, like to me. So I'm like, I'm going to like try and sprint through this to go play basketball, you know? And it was completely closed and I ran through it. So... <laughs> And, and I just, I just ran through it and I stumbled and the only, I cut my hands up on the glass that hit the ground and that was it. So you were 85 pounds, 12 years old and you ran through a plate glass window. Yeah. 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 Dude, I'm a 250 pound man. And I would, it would probably stymie me and knock me out. If I tried to I have two of them, I have two sliding glass doors. Yeah. If yeah, I and- tried to run through them, it would knock me out. Yeah. What was Scotty's reaction? Dude. What yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Dude, oh, oh, and he was laughing. He was laughing. Were your hands bleeding immediately, or did they just did you guys get stitches? No, I, I just, I mean, there was like I had to pick out a bunch of glass on my hands. I, I, I still have some scars, but it, it wasn't that bad. I just wrapped them up. Had two clubs for like a week, and then I was back on it. I was back on the mat. So he calls you the Juggernaut. Do you yeah. know the Marvel character, the Juggernaut? It's like yeah, this big gigantic guy, and he can't be stopped. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's like the ju- he's the juggernaut, dude. Yeah. He's the juggernaut. He ran through my plate glass window. Yeah. <laughs> so it was actually a slider, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, slider. So it was winter, and they had to get. <laughs> did they have to board it up? I think they got it. It was covered, and they got it pretty quick. So. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, now with COVID, that would take you six months to get that. Do you realize that? Yeah, right, right. This is like the supply chains all jacked up. Like I'm getting a uh, siding, windows, new windows, new siding, and new gutters. And I was like, "Yeah, you think you can do it before next summer?" The guy's like, "Oh yeah, you're probably looking at spring." You know what I mean? He's looking you know, six, eight months down the road to get all that replaced. <laughs> so that's just how it is. But okay, so Casey, the number one. Oh, first things first. Did they have you ranked number one in most in the flow pool? I don't even look at it. Like now? Yeah, are you ranked number one? Yeah, I am now. Yeah. Okay. But you beat the pound for pound guys. You ranked two behind you? No, no, no. I'm actually not ranked. I'm not ranked number one in the pound for pound. No, 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 no. You shouldn't be ranked number one. I mean, I think you could yeah, be no. the pound for pound guy. What are you pound for pound? I'm 17. You're, you beat the one. I know, I know. I, I I was never in the pound for pound, and I've beaten plenty of guys in there. I mean, it's hard, you know, being from Dundee, and it's hard to get in there. But I'm in there now, and I'm, I'm going to climb up real quick. So, Do you even care that they have you at 17? No, I really I really don't. I mean, I am I plan on doing some college opens here soon. So, Oh, you're doing opens? I think that's I think that's the plan. So. Did you just wrestle in the grappler? No, I didn't. I actually – so, right after who's number one, I told my dad, I was like, dude, I'm not calling I'm not going to the grappler. I'm, I'm going to take a chill pill. You know, we got this, got the job done. And I trained for seven weeks harder than I ever had in my life. And I told him, I was like, I'm just going to chill, you know, go to school, not miss school and, and, and chill until season, you know, I'm not doing Super Day 2 either. So people can say I'm running or whatever. That is the least thing I ever do. So and people know me, people who know me know that. So, Dude, you are the last guy. Did you and Dylan Fishback? Are the last guy who run? You do not run from anybody. Yeah, right, right. The so. problem with you two is you hurt all the workout partners. Yeah, Coach Burnett's like, I don't think I can get him anymore. He's that yeah. good. 
He, yeah, oh, he, he told me that. I've never heard him really say that about a high school kid. He's like, I don't know if I can get him anymore. That's yeah. that's a real testament to you, man. That's like the level you're at right now is, I mean, yeah, I'm feeling, real levels, good, man. Man. I, I'm feeling real, real uh, I'm ready to jump some levels even from that, you know? So, you know, so, that guy beat, that guy beat college all Americans and, and uh, he beat that Carter young dude just beat Seth Gross and Mendez beat that guy twice. So like, it, it really just shows like where the high school at the opportunities, like, high school wrestlers have now it shows that they're ready you know these dudes are ready like the, the levels have jumped so much so right so, so what college opens you looking at is it kind of um, like i don't know yet schedule, then? i don't know yet um it's just planned right now and i definitely want to get my, myself on the map and if if that's the way to get um climb the um pound for pound then that's what i'm gonna do so because that's that's what Mendez did, you know. He beat a bunch of college dudes. So, hey, just so you know, they're allowed to ride your hips <laughs> when yeah. you wrestle in college. They're allowed to cheat oh, yeah. and hold you down and stop. Right, right. Yeah, you know that, I, right? Yeah, I, uh, I, you know, I was never, I was never not like, I was never bad on bottom, but it just wasn't my thing. And obviously, like I wrestle on my feet. And I, that's one thing I did for Mendez because I knew he could throw boots in and, and rip your arms off. Like, you watch me wrestle on bottom. I was so sealed off, and, like, I was so prepared for that, you know, and the whole riding time thing. So, uh, I, I, you know, I'm prepared on bottom at this point. So, I mean, the Strangler, does the Strangler ever get on top of you? Yeah, he has. Uh, not much folk style, actually. I haven't done much folk style with him. I wrestle – I go there a lot for, in more of the freestyle season. And you know he's just I you can't do nothing on the on the bottom and, and and freestyle with him, like literally nothing. I mean he's gonna turn you no matter what. He squeezes you. I don't know how, you wouldn't even know. But he it's it's insane how much how hard he squeezes you. His leverage is incredible too. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, him and Jared wrestled in college. Jared, the co-host here, they wrestled. Oh really, Jared? Jared, I know you don't want me to bring it up. <laughs> I know you don't want me to bring it up, but how bad did you actually beat him? He, uh, I don't know what the score. It was a decision, but yeah, he, uh, it was a duel. We won the duel, and I, I beat him. I forget what a couple points, maybe. Was that a twenty-five? Yeah, twenty-five. Yeah. Did you win the MAC that year? Yeah, I think that year I won the MAC. I was running up, but yeah. He so put he the boots in, and I got out, and I think that was the different. You know, I, he got he boots in on you. He put the went to put the boots and I, I think I reversed him to his back or something. I think that was a difference in the match. I'm surprised he didn't murder you. Yeah. Dude, yeah. he's a killer. The guy's he an did absolute one killer. Nothing. He did beat me one nothing the Michigan State Open one year. I didn't go under him and he beat me one nothing and then I beat him in the duel. Yeah. You guys split. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. Wow. Okay. So you're training with Scotty. You train with, with Coach Simmons, Nick Simmons. Um, but your coach Roberts, you've got yeah. one of the best high school coaches in the United States of America. Yeah, yeah he's your awesome. results show it at who's number one. Your eight state championship, eight st- eight individual state champions last year for Dundee High School. How great of a coach is Coach Roberts, and how much does he let you guys have free reign? Because not all coaches right. are like that, man. That that's that's the like the best part about him. You know, the the biggest thing, you know, um, to be to be an athlete, to be a wrestler, is to be coachable. And Coach Roberts, as a coach, is coachable. You know what I'm saying? Like, he goes out and, and you know, a lot of dudes are, like, not like that. Like, they'll get mad at their, at their athletes for going out and, and being around different coaches and different things. He's always, like, trying to learn. And, and you can watch him just get better over, over the years. And he's always trying to learn from me, from, from Scotty, watching videos, sending videos in. You know, he's, he's awesome. And uh, he's vo- – our our team is evolving and he is too. So Dave Habit as That's well. Yeah. Man. Right? He's the guy's put you in a lot of situations to get better and win. Yeah. It's tough, man. He's gone. And uh that was my dude. You know, I first I first got with him when I was hundred pounds, eighth grade, cadet Fargo. That's right before then. And you know, now he's gone. And I I learned so much. Like my wrestling went from you know, here, here with him, like scrambling and, and just the way, the way, you know, you go about things. That dude's like, not just an, 
awesome wrestler, but he's an awesome dude. And like make him better, man. Yeah, he he made me so much better. Like the things, the little weird things he does, like he's like standing there and then he and then he goes. You know, it's just and like he showed me this thing where like you fake a fake. Like you it's it's like what Burroughs does. So like you level change and you're like you're like faking like a level change like you're like nonchalant level changing and then you just and you load up and you blast through the dude like it's it's like this high level stuff that like some people don't even get you know well you're so explosive though that's the thing about you you you'll pull the trigger from space yeah and you'll batter you'll do board you'll, you'll go full burrows he uses his face as a battering ram yeah yeah, yeah. i see that i think he did it to the iranian the other day i think he broke the guy's nose chipped the guy's teeth he just yeah. doesn't care, and he, and you know you got to make those sacrifices. You want to be elite? That's something you got to do. If you're if you're an explosive guy like yourself or Jordan Burroughs, and you can smack somebody in the face and they're they're yeah, on the tracks. The the like you get those those flurries or exchanges, and the dude's like low around his knees or he's not paying attention, and you just and you just fold him, you know, like right right in his face, and you just blow him over. It's just the best. So. So Michigan has these horrible, awful high school rules, like just garbage rules. And that's what really hurts you guys as far as your high school rankings, because you can't go and wrestle out of the state within a certain mileage and the state that you're wrestling. So you guys cannot wrestle a Pennsylvania team. No, it doesn't touch your state. And, and, and people have to put that in perspective. You know, you know, that says so much like we can't do that. And we and we just have two guys number one. We can't wrestle, you know, that four months out of the year. And we have two guys number one that shows our coaching staff and the guy the opportunities that we have is impeccable. You know what I'm saying? That we can do that. Yeah, and Facundo, he he was able to be obviously super high level. Exactly. Davis has always done a really good job of it. Yeah. They come to the Medina, they go to, and and they have to they have to manipulate the field. So if you guys want to come to Ohio. Ohio can't have a West Virginia or a PA team there. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. That's the thing. That's an That's awful thing. rule. It's, it's a terrible. terrible rule. What is? What's the reasoning? Wait, what is the reasoning? I think uh, they want to keep it pure, Jared. They want to keep it pure. I don't even know. Honestly, I don't even know. I no, don't that's know. like it. I'm telling you, they want it to remain like am. They want to keep the spirit of like. And in Indiana's the same way too, right? Is Indiana the same way? The worst rule ever. And I talk to their coaches about it all the time. Coach Hancock, he's always like, yes, worst rule ever, man. Ever, ever. Terrible. Casey, I got to ask you the million-dollar question for me. Um, I ask my wife this all the time. My wife went to Pioneer High School in Ann Arbor. Um, I asked Connor Brady, who's at Virginia Tech. You know, he's from Columbus, Ohio area. I got to ask you, why not Michigan? Why not Michigan State? Everybody asks me this. Um, That's a fair question. That's a good question you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Oh, okay, just, just checking. Yeah. No, yeah, it's cool. You know, uh, I want to get out of Michigan, you know. Like, I'm – especially Ann Arbor, like, you know, how, like – that's just not my – that's not my thing, being in Ann Arbor. And I've been in the Michigan room for – I know what they have to offer. And I actually – I watch how things go about in their room. And no, I'm not saying anything bad about Michigan. They're awesome. But, you know, I just it's just not for me. And Michigan State, same way. You know, I just – I want to get out. You know, you, you see a lot of it, – it should say a lot, you know. You see a lot of really good Michigan guys don't go anywhere near those, you know, the best guys. Um, I like – you know, I'm not saying anything bad about them, but, you know, especially I – like, I want to get out. I'm I'm outdoors dude. Like, I want to be in the middle of nowhere sort of, you know what I'm saying, and just – Ames has got you. Yeah, Ames has got me, man. They got for you. Sure, for sure. It's a cool spot, though, right? Yeah, it is. It is. I um, so I went down there on my official visit, and I was able to. It was it was before who's number one still, and I was like, a really good friend of mine, my one of my one of my dad's good friends, lives in Jefferson, Iowa, which is about forty minutes from Ames. So I got to go to the one of the Seabolt practices when I was down there, and it was it was awesome, you know. So knowing that Seabolt's you know forty minutes away from where I'm gonna be is that's awesome to hear too. So nice, nice. We got Kevin Dresser. Kevin Dresser. Yeah, yeah. Kevin Dresser, uh, Metcalf, Derek St. John. They got a great staff, right? Who's the fourth? 
Um, I, I'm not sure, honestly. It might be Kyvin, Kyvin's there. I know Kyvin trains yeah, there. Yeah, Kyvin's there. I'm not sure, honestly. It was Coach Zadek. Willie. No, yeah. it was no, not Willie. Willie. Yeah, Willie was a GA there. And now Willie's at Michigan State, right? Yeah, Willie's at, Willie, Willie's at Michigan State. But Willie was, I think Willie was a coach there. He was their fourth for a minute, I think. They might just Maybe. be rolling with three, huh? Yeah, I think that's what they're doing right now. On the website, it's Fernando. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, it's Fernando. Yeah, yeah. Fernando? Oh, okay. But it was Willie, and then I don't know if they had one for a year, unless it was Fernando last year. Because Willie's been at MSU for a year now, a year yeah. and a half. Yeah. Okay, got it. Oh, man, I love it. I love hearing – I love that question because a lot of people give you a lot of different answers. You know, my wife went to Pioneer High School. She could hear Michigan oh. Stadium from her house – uh, the, the 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 crowd and the band right like because it was on the tape delay and she was right. like yeah it was the craziest thing ever when i was a kid we would know if they scored beforehand because the band and the crowd we would hear that and it's like a seven to ten second tv delay right and you know she talked about that and and if you do you know where pioneer high school is no i'm, I'm it's not, directly a- caddy corner directly caddy corner. Like if you Google map it after this, you're going to be like, Oh yeah, he's just, it's as close as he says it. It is from the corner. You can hit Michigan stadium with a baseball. Oh, wow. Yeah. Zero that's exaggeration. Crazy. Like it's that close. That's crazy. See, like, that's the thing. Like I couldn't imagine living in there, like in that environment, yeah. that environment, but like just so many people and it's just, I can't do it, man. I can't do it. No. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's good. It's, to figure it's it out. 10,000 people. It's, it's a hundred and, probably 150,000 people partying every Saturday. Yeah. It's wild, man. And it's, but it's big, but now, you know, you're going to the big 12, you're going to Ames. It's, it's a cool spot where, you know, Ames is situated in a cool spot. So yeah. And Ames, Ames is actually pretty small too. So like, that's the thing. And it's, and it's, it's spread out as well too. So I like big ag, ag school. Are you going to go into like some type of vocational agriculture type thing? I'm not too sure yet. Um, I couldn't tell you, but I mean, I've been I, possibly possibly yeah okay cool does your dad raise dogs yeah that's the thing um we got a dog kind of we don't oh yeah we do we actually we breed them and my dad we train uh labrador retrievers um, so you're totally outdoors like you're going yeah. they're, they're retrieving yeah, you're got, hunting i just got back in from tree stand bow i hunting love it tonight so i love I, it opener for duck seasons this uh for michigan is this weekend so i'll be out there oh that's awesome man do you go to cabela's much yeah, I mean, Cabela's is right next to me. Uh, I'm 10 minutes from Cabela's. There's one of them to you, obviously. But, uh, yeah, I go there all the time. Awesome, man. I love it. Uh, Blazer's coming on here soon. You going to stick around for a little bit? Stick on. Stick on, Casey. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah for sure. We've got I'll Blazer coming on. How? What's the weight, weight difference between you and Joey? Uh, honestly, I don't even know how much the dude weighs. I I think he weighs like 160 or something like that. What are you right now, like 45, 50? Oh, I'm probably 52, 54. You that big? Yeah, dude, I was that big. You know, I made, I made 38. I mean, but I did it right, and it was it, it felt good. So, Blazer, welcome. Well, I'm pretty good. big. Casey. Hey, uh, what's up? What's up, buddy? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, you guys are club teammates, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so Burnett train guys on the, on the call, and then we had uh, Dylan Fishbeck. He's been coming to the camps for like the last six or seven years. So we get Burnett guys on here. You know, I know Burnett guys. I used to be the mat mopper and the toilet plunger there for a while. And the, uh, <laughs> torture everybody in the morning guy. So they have uh, Jack does all that now, doesn't he? Ah, uh, yeah, Coach Jack's oh, yeah. the old. Uh... Yeah, 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 Jack. Jack does it. The the hawk. Hey, Casey, remember he's a Hawkeye. Watch him. Yeah, right, man. All guys don't know what's coming. <laughs> He's the enemy. <laughs> He's the enemy, right? The enemy. Oh. Okay, Blazer. So we got Joey Blazer on here. Mr. Uh, upset of the year, Casey Swiderski, but only three people knew about it, that it was coming. <laughs> right. Casey, Mendez, and apparently Dylan Fishbeck. Joey, did you know the upset of the year was coming? Zeb, come on, man. I trained with him every day. I knew that was coming. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I knew what was going on. Joey knew. Joey knew. Joey's probably been juggernauted before is my guess. Yeah, a couple times. Dude, you ever been run Joe, through? Yeah. You ever run through you? <laughs> yeah, Joe, yeah. Me and Joe went at it, Zeb. Let me tell you. Yeah? Yeah. yeah we was... had some scraps every day. 
well, I mean, we had this one practice and Scotty or Scotty was like, you know, what won you that match was that, that practice. So we had to do, or I mean, we were already, you know, pretty deep into the practice. We'd done like a bunch of goes and it was, uh, um, it was super slippery in there. And it was first one of three takedowns at the end of practice. And if you think we're getting three takedowns any less than an hour, you're, you know, that's not happening. Oh like, three, like it's not happening. So we went, I don't know, it was probably at 20, you know, 15, 10 minute, 15, 10 to 15 minute go, maybe even longer. You know, I don't have a shirt on. He doesn't have, you know, we're, we're sweating, you know, it's, and I got to this dude's leg so many times I could not finish. And I was just, you know, I was at, I was at my breaking point, you know, it was just, I, you know, I ended up getting it, but it was, it was wild, man. So Blazer's frustrating to wrestling, wrestle what you're, is that what you're saying? He's, he's hard oh, to dude, wrestle. He's all Gumby. 100%, dude. Yeah. It's frustrating. Hey, we, yeah, we have some good scraps. Yeah. Frustrating to watch. <laughs> it's frustrating. Yeah, I'm it, like, I feel bad for people. I'm like, this guy's really hard to wrestle. Like, I, I wouldn't want to do this. Right, right. Yeah. And Casey, you're normally you can pick people up and put them down real hard, right? Like you're explosive. Yeah. He's really good at neutralizing that, isn't he? Yeah, he is. You know, he's he's he knows dead weight. He knows dead weight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Uh, Casey, before we let you off, what is next for you? Where are we going to see you compete? Like, beside, what college open? Is it Michigan State open? Like, I, where dude, can we definitively I, see you next? I'm going to I'm gonna leave that uh, up to the entry list as of right now. <laughs> but, um, dude, um, the season, the high school season right now, we have we got a tough task ahead of us this year. We got we're, – we're pretty um, – you know, we're pretty light right now. You know, we don't have much and we're going to have to pull really uh, be committed and pull together to win another uh, team title, which I, that's my goal, you know, four individual and four team. So like, it's going to be huge to do that. And uh, yeah, college opens, you know, you, you'll see me, you'll see me at a couple. So Will you do freshman, sophomore, do you think? Yeah, I, I would assume. Yeah. Because you know, you can go freshman, sophomore or open. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. I might, you know, I may be the first, maybe the first couple of just be freshman, sophomore, and then I'll throw myself out there, which, you know, me, you know, I don't care. So, I love it. yeah, run through some plate glass windows or some sliders or whatever it yeah. takes to get warmed up. I don't know. Whatever, yeah. whatever you need to do, right? Yeah. I love it. Casey, thank you for the time. Do you got anything else for us? You got any stories? We don't have to let you go. I mean, I, we're going to get into Blazer here a little bit because. Blazers coming from a BTW practice. I know that. Yeah, yeah. Um, ah, dude. You know, hey, give me a second. Talk to Joy for a little bit, and I'll, I'll, I'll hit you with a story. Good chime back in. Yeah. I love yeah. it. I'm just glad. I'm glad you're willing to tell a story. Okay, so hey, all right, we'll story. introduce Joe. So we. Got